everyone. Welcome to our virtual Starshine Yoga and Mindfulness session. I hope you're well. I hope you're feeling good. But maybe you're not feeling great. Sometimes we don't always feel happy and good. Sometimes maybe we feel a bit down or lacking motivation, lacking energy. But yoga is something that can make help make you feel better. So maybe if you are feeling a bit a bit down and a bit unenthusiastic about doing yoga this week, don't forget that it helps you in so many ways. It helps you to be happy. It helps to increase your energy if you're feeling like you're lacking a little bit of energy. It helps you to develop your muscles and your strength. It helps you with your flexibility to help your body be able to bend and stretch in different ways. It helps you to relax and unwind. It helps you to be present and mindful and just enjoy the moment. So there's so many different ways that yoga can help your body and your mind that I want you to have a go even if you don't really feel like moving you don't really feel like joining in have a go because I think by the end of it you'll feel a lot better in your body and in your mind in your brain so today the only thing you need for our session is something to play our toga game with okay so something that you can pick up with your toes like we've done before so when you're ready I want you to come down onto your mat or wherever you're practicing your yoga this week and you can see we're still thinking about our rainbows this week so we're going to do for our warm-up rainbow breath and that's starshine yoga when we think about rainbow breath we're imagining our breath following the line of a rainbow okay so we're going to think about that color red first and what we're going to do we're going to take a big deep breath in through our nose and as we breathe out we're going to make the breath last for as long as that red arch okay so we're going to take a big deep breath in and we're going to breathe out Good. So maybe you can draw the arch as you breathe out, but I want you to watch my finger because I want to see if your breath can last as long as my finger takes to draw the arch. Okay, so now we think about that colour orange. Ready? Big deep breath in. Good. Now we're thinking about that colour yellow. Ready? Big deep breath in. Good. And really make your breath on the way out long and vocal so you should be able to hear it. Now we're thinking about that colour green. Ready? Big deep breath in. Excellent. Now we're thinking about that colour blue. Ready? Big deep breath in. Excellent. Now we're thinking about that colour purple. Ready? Big deep breath in. And lastly, we're thinking about that colour pink. Okay, ready? Big deep breath in. Excellent, good job guys. So hopefully your breath lasted as long as that rainbow arch. Okay, and can you come up into your stick pose? Because we're going to do our warm up, our body sun sequence to warm up our bodies. But this week, I want you guys at home to lead the sun sequence. So you're going to start and I'm going to follow and copy you. Okay, so it's your turn then my turn. 
instead of the normal my turn, your turn, okay? So you're going to shout at your screens or call out at your screens and do the move and I'll copy you. Ready? After three, I want you to go with our first move, okay? And we're not missing any out, we're doing all of them. Ready? One, two, three, you go. Good, so hopefully you're doing stick. Now my turn. Stick. You go. Good, my turn. Hands. Your turn. Reach for the sun. Good, your turn. My turn. Elephant. One, two, three. Your turn. Good, my turn. Ball. Curly whirly one. Hopefully you're doing curly whirly two before me. Curly whirly two. Curly whirly three. Curly whirly four. Stick. Excellent. Give yourself a round of applause. So hopefully you did each of the moves before I did. Today we are going to do a new set of poses so different to the last couple of weeks so I want you to watch carefully maybe some of them you know maybe some of them are new to you and I want you to have a go along at home okay so the first pose we're going to do today we're going to remind ourselves of that dragon pose can you remember dragon pose good so we're on one knee and we're reaching our arms up high, pointing those fingers to the sky, holding it here for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Excellent. Go straight onto the other knee though, because we're going to do the other side for dragon. Coming into dragon on the other side. Good. Holding it here for five. Hopefully you're not wobbling. Focus. Four, three, two, one, and relax, excellent. Okay, now the next pose we're going to do this week is called bridge pose, okay? So bridge pose looks like this. We're going to be lying down on our backs with our knees bent and feet flat on the floor and our arms are coming down either side of our bodies, so hands are touching palms on the mat. Now what we're going to do is push our bottoms up and our hips up as high as we can to get a straight line from our tummy to our legs, okay? So pushing up with me, good. So using your shoulders to push up, tucking that bottom in, holding it here for five, four, three, two, don't let your bottom and hips drop, one, and relax, excellent job. Okay, now, the next pose we're going to do is called boat pose, okay? And there's two levels to boat pose. So for boat pose, this one is really challenging and it's really going to work our core, our stomach muscles, okay? All of those muscles in your tummy are going to be working hard today to balance. So, I want you to come onto your bottoms and give your legs and your knees a little hug. And then I want you to lean back slightly and bring your arms up in front of you either side. Now what I want you to do next is lift your feet off the mat and see if you can balance here. Good, okay, so I'll show you sideways on. You've given your knees a hug, you're leaning back, arms come up, legs come up. Okay, so this is level one. Holding it here with your knees bent for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good. Okay, now this is where it gets harder. This is where it's more challenging. So you can have a go at this level, level two. Level two boat. We're going to start in the same way. Give your knees a hug, lean back. Bring your arms up. Now this time you're going to bring your legs up, but you're going to try and straighten them out. Okay, so you might need to lean back a little bit more to hold that balance. Okay, 
So have a little go if you can. Hug the knees, lean back, arms up. Legs come up, but we're gonna straighten them here, holding it five, four, really feel your tum tummy muscles working. Three, two, one, and relax. Whew. I find that one really challenging because you're really working those middle muscles, those core muscles hard to hold that balance, that V shape. Okay, next pose. Can you have a go at twisted dragon? Can you remember twisted dragon? So we're coming onto that, into, onto that knee for dragon, but this time we're bringing our opposite hand to the inside of its opposite foot. Okay, so I've got my right leg out in front of me, so I'm gonna bring my left arm down and my right arm comes up and I'm gonna see if I can look up and hold it here, looking at that top hand, holding it for five, four, three, two, one, and change sides, good. So now I'm bringing my left knee in front of me, so I'm gonna bring my right arm down so that my right hand is next to my left foot, bringing the other arm up. Good, see if I can look up to the ceiling, see if you can too. And just spot your hand, hold it here for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Well done guys. I don't know about you, I feel a bit wobbly today. I'm finding it hard to do my balancing. But some days I like that. Some days you're going to feel stronger in your body than others. So don't be put off if one week in our session you think, oh, finding it really hard this week. That's okay, that's normal. I do too, okay? There are going to be times when you feel better than other times, but that's okay. The more you practice and work on your body and your mind, the better you'll feel. Okay, our last pose today, we're going to do a pose called plank pose. So plank pose looks like this. We're going to come onto our knees and stretch our arms out in front of us. And we're actually going to come onto our elbows, okay? We're going to use our elbows and our toes to hold our body up. So we're trying to draw a straight line with our body and our back, okay? Try not to dip your bottom, because that would be more like cobra. Try not to lift it up into dolphin. Try and have it straight here and see if you can hold it with me for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax. Excellent. That is really hard work. Another tricky pose this week working our whole body, again, especially our core, our stomach muscles. Good job, guys, well done. Some tricky new poses today. Don't forget them because we're going to be working on them again next week and really thinking about our balancing next week. Okay, on to our game. So, toga. Today, rather than thinking about your last score, I want you just to set yourself a challenge for today. So I'm going to challenge myself to pick up more than 30 pom-poms, okay? See if you can give yourself a challenge. And remember, you need to spread them out around the area that you're doing your yoga practice this morning or this afternoon. And if you've got a yoga mat, remember you can't have any on the yoga mat to start. Okay. Are we ready? I'm going to give you a minute to see how many pom-pom balls or whatever object you're using you can pick up with your toes and collect on your mat. Okay? So get ready, we're going in three, two, one, go. Oh no, that one came off my mat. So thinking about your own personal challenge, you're just racing against yourself. Mm 
hand was dirty. I'm trying to get more than 30 balls onto my mat. Maybe you can pick up a couple at once. Okay, you're halfway through the time. Ah. Fifteen seconds left. Five, four, three. Two, one, and stop. Okay, have a go now counting how many you got. See if you beat your personal score. Six. Okay, well I definitely beat my personal target because my target was 30 and I got 46. So I'm pleased about that. How did you get on? Maybe you can let me know. When you're ready, I'd like you to come down onto your mat or wherever you're practicing your yoga into that seated position for today's relaxation. Because today we're going to do some massage. Okay, now we haven't done some massage for a while. And if there is somebody nearby you while you're doing your yoga today, grab them because you're going to massage their back and then they're going to massage your back, okay? We're going to do some back massage. So to start with, I want you with your partner to draw big circles on their back. Big circles using the palm of your hand all the way around, reaching all the way around their back. Good. This time, I want you to change that action to raindrops. So imagine there's lots of raindrops falling all the way down their back from their shoulders to their waist. Really gentle on their back. Encourage the person that you're massaging to close their eyes, to drop their shoulders if they feel hunched. Okay, I want you to change from raindrops now to windscreen wipers. We're going to get rid of that water. So using again the palm of your hand, just to move gently from side to side. Good, this time I want you to use your fingertips to draw wiggly lines down your partner's back. This might be a little bit ticklish for them. So just fingertips. Okay, this time I want you to get one hand and with your fingertip, I want you to start really small on the middle of their back, drawing a circle round and round and then slowly getting bigger. Slowly getting bigger so that by the end you're doing the whole of their back with your circle and then going the opposite way and getting smaller again. So that you finish with a tiny circle. Good. This time I want you to use the palm of your hand to draw a big line down their back and up and again down and up and one more time down and up. Okay, now I want you to swap places. So now if you are massaging, you're the one being massaged. And if you are being massaged, you're now massaging. Okay, so we're going back to those big circles. Drawing big circles on your partner's back. With the palm of your hands, good. Moving to raindrops. And remember, you don't need to talk. 
you can just be sat there, listening to the music, feeling your back and your body relax, and windscreen wipers. And now those fingertips doing the wiggly lines. circle, starting tiny, getting bigger, and then back the other way, big to small to tiny. Maybe before we finish you could write a number on your partner's back and get them to guess it. And then when you've done that, finishing with a big rub all the way down from your shoulders to your waist and up. And one more. Excellent. Well done, everyone. So hopefully you and your partner are both feeling super relaxed now. And I'm going to finish with a namaste. And I'd like to thank you so much for joining us at Starshine Yoga for this week's virtual yoga and mindfulness session. Remember those poses for next week. Hopefully you're feeling really good and energised. But remember what we've talked about today. It's normal, you can't feel happy and good all of the time. That's normal. Sometimes you might feel a bit down. But yoga will always help, hopefully, you to feel energised and to increase your mood and your well-being so that by the end of a yoga practice you're feeling a little bit more happy and relaxed and good ready for the day ahead or ready for a good sleep if you're doing it in the evening thank you very much guys see you next week bye bye